you know, I'll go. Jason, Auburn 247. Uh, so when you look at, at offensively, um, what is kind of your overall take of the, the overall offense through two games? Well, I think there's a lot of difference in game one, game two. Uh, a lot of mistakes in game two, obviously, early on. Uh, but we found a way to, to nip those in the bud and uh, found a way to win those games. But, you know, there's a lot of growth. Early in the season, that's what you expect. You know, you're going to have little mistakes here and there. But now it's time, you know, with Penn State coming to town, it's time to really hone in on the details um, and eliminate those mistakes moving forward. How, how explosive is it to, to create some more explosive plays, especially in the passing game moving forward with teams probably – you know, paying more attention to the run here. Oh yeah, that's huge. Uh, that's what you know. That's part of the run game. When you have a good run game, that's what that's what you need to capitalize on is on the back end, uh, making big plays. And we've made some, but we've also uh, dropped some. We can't afford to do that moving forward. All right, Justin. What's the about Penn State's defense? Uh, from what you guys seen on film, and maybe what you remember from them last season? I think they're pretty similar to last season. I mean, a lot of guys got drafted, but. The overall scheme is pretty much the same, a lot of man. Um, so that's what we expect, and that's what really the SEC is too. It's all man-to-man, -man, play a four down, uh, two backer box most of the time. So um, last year they're a very physical bunch. Big Ten is normally pretty physical football, so uh, that's what we expect. And that's that's not really what we're – we're not necessarily like not used to that in the SEC. So, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much a normal week. But they're a good team. I mean, obviously they uh, – they struggled early in week one, but looks like they looked pretty sharp last week. So, all right, Philip. All right, John. The new coordinator. How, how different is what you're doing now than what you guys did last year? Just different at all. And how much of an adjustment is that as a player? I don't think it's much different because it's still Coach Harson. It's he's still over all of it. Um, the play calling may be a little bit different throughout the game, uh, just from Keysaw and Bobo, just two different standpoints, but. You don't really notice that during a game. Um, I mean, the plays are still pretty similar. Um, we still want to run the ball first and then take shots off of that. Um, but it hasn't been really different. Um, I would say our connection with Keesaw is better than Bobo, just because we've had him now for two years. Um, so we're used to, to him, and um, we're more understanding of what he's going to call during a game. All right, Kazias? Um, John, what did you, you remember that uh, fourth down conversion there? Um, tell me about that play and kind of walk me through what happened. Yeah, that, that was not uh, drawn up that way. Uh, so they brought um, they brought some edge pressure on that play, and as soon as I knew I knew that I had to be open because I knew TJ had some in his face. Um, so as soon as I turned around, I just waited for him to be able to dunk it off to me because um, I wasn't the first option or the second, I don't think. So, um, but yeah, he dunked it off, and then I just really followed my lineman back across the field to <laughs> try to get the first down. All right, Mark. Yeah, last year's game. Pretty intense. What anything in particular stand out to you about it? Last year's Penn State game. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the atmosphere is different. I mean, the wild. That's a pretty unique experience. Um, but I mean, they're a really physical team. Uh, I mean, I can say it over and over. But nothing crazy stands out. I mean, we think we should have won the football game. I mean, for sure. That's that's left a sour taste in our mouth for a year now. Uh, so we've had this one circled for a while. The guys were here last year and uh, seeing what what happened and what we can do better to win this game uh, this year when they come to our house. John, I guess Finley had that other play to tank where he kind of flipped it out after the bad snap. When, when it comes to those kind of gash, not gash, but kind of broken down plays, does that kind of go back to him in the preseason? You guys just talked about how he was calm and comfortable and had a good command of the offense and had a good rapport with all you guys. Is that where that kind of shows up in game settings is when things don't go according to plan? Well, I think we saw it last year in Georgia State game. Where he just kind of did some crazy stuff. I think his height helps him. He's able to see things for longer. So if he starts scrambling, he can see things unfold and he can dump it off to you. Um, but yeah, that's part of just TJ trying to make plays. Obviously, he's not as fast um, as Robbie. So him having eyes and being able to throw balls and make plays like that is, is – uh, that's what he needs to do to, to be the best core I can be. And that helps our offense too. I mean, things are going to break down. Like it's not going to be perfect. Pockets not going to be perfect. They're going to be covered down for you. have to make plays. And if he can continue to do that, that would help our offense for sure. How impressed were you with the way he bounced back from that both on and off the field from that interception completed like 12 of his last 15 throws? Ever? Yeah, no, that was huge. Especially after last year, I feel like he didn't do that great. Like when things got hard, he, last year he just didn't really take control. I thought this year he really did that. And especially this game. Um, which is part of his maturity, I think, as a quarterback and also being a leader, too. Just 
not letting it phase him. Uh, obviously, it was still early in the game when those mistakes were happening, so he had time to make it up. But, um, yeah, no, definitely a testament to him and really the whole offense for responding. Frank, any other questions? Yeah, Frank. Uh, yeah, uh, Malcolm Johnson, Coach Harson said he'd be back this week. How much could that maybe help your wide receiver core in those explosive plays you guys are looking for? Oh, huge, especially a guy like Malcolm, hard worker, knows what he's doing. Um, so the effort and stuff's there with Malcolm. Uh, yeah, we missed him last week. He's a key part to the offense, just how things run on the offensive side of the ball, and he's a huge component to that, and we're happy to have him back. All right, Phil? John, first week you two, y'all had two penalties. Uh, last week, it was kind of a penalty fest. And you see that same thing happen to other teams. What happens to cause that? Uh, I think part of it's just, I don't know why it was this week. It was like everyone did. Like I think Bama had like 15 or something. Right. Um, I don't know why that is. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty sloppy play on our part. Um, I mean, some of them are hit or miss. You know, you can argue them back and forth, whatever. But um, if they're going to make the calls, then you got to live with it and just learn how to play um, to the standard of the referees are going to call. So um, it's really just knowledge of the game and knowing what you can and can't do in certain things and just not letting yourself get in trouble um, on certain things and, you know, holding and blocking the back and stuff like that. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, coming off that game, we just watching them celebrate in that environment, um, that really hurt us last year, I thought, early in the season. That could have really helped us out last year, just confidence-wise, because uh, we felt like we had that game. We felt like we played well enough to win. Um, things just didn't go our way. We didn't execute in the second half very well. Um, so yeah, th this week's definitely, you know, everyone needs to buy into this week. Um, and this will get us off to a great start heading into conference play. Anything else?